Hello everyone, I am Matt Print from Fitness with Matt. I have been a fitness instructor since 2010 and also a personal trainer for the last six years. So, I'm here today to talk about why we celebrate, celebrate Pride Month, where it originated from, but also how to be an ally if you aren't a member of the LGBTQ plus community yourself. Um, so, let's get into it. But as always, I want you to get involved in the conversation, so do put any comments below, and I always love to come and read and get involved. So, Pride Month honours the 1969 Stonewall Uprising in Manhattan. And the first Pride March was on in New York on the 28th of June in 1970, because it was a one-year um, anniversary of the uprising. So, what was the Stonewall Uprising? So basically, it was a the Stonewall Inn was a really popular gay bar in New York, but it was illegal to serve alcohol to a gay person until 1966, which is crazy. And in 1969, homosexuality was still considered a criminal offence. But still, these people existed and they wanted a place to come together and to live their lives and their truths. So many bars in New York and around the world ran without a liquor license, this is America, um, and they were run by the Mafia, but the police would regularly raid these bars and um, they were often scenes of police brutality and people were just really treated badly and that's an understatement to say the least. So, you know, people were living in fear but in the early hours of June the 28th, the LGBTQ plus community decided to fight back and lock themselves in the Stonewall Inn. The resistance continued till about 4am, but news of the raid spread across thousands of and thousands of protesters basically gathered outside the Stonewall and continued protesting early into the next week. So Basically, it was that huge movement that gathered momentum to build awareness for gay rights, LGBTQ plus rights, and it's at that point that things started to change. But again, it took protests to get to that point, and probably very violent protests, you know, after years of being abused by the police and a way of living being classed as illegal, you know, we forget how lucky we are. I forget how lucky I am, and even me now, at my age, looking at LGBTQ plus youths growing up now, the world has changed so much more since then, and it's good to see that it's progress being made, but there's still a lot further to go, because you only have to look around the world, at news like in America, the recent Don't Say Gay Bill in Florida, where it's illegal for schools to talk about um, LGBTQ plus people, way of life, um, lifestyle, it, it's actually a criminal offence. So, you know, we think we're going forwards, but right now it feels like we're starting to go backwards. And let's not forget there's places in the world where it's still um, sentenced to death if you're found to be gay, lesbian, bisexual. So we're like, oh, the world's a much better place. Um, it's better, but it's definitely not where it should or could be. So that's why Pride Month is really important. But as I say, it's really to mark that initial fighting back from the LGBTQ plus community in um, June 1969, getting the years right. Um, but just to put it into context within the UK, the Section 28 Act came in in 1988, which is two years after I was born, um, by Margaret Thatcher, and it was banning schools from promoting homosexuality. And it stopped pupils getting the support they needed um, and it was only in 2003, by the time I'd finished school, that it was actually repealed. So that is crazy to think that happened within the UK. It's really heartwarming for me to see recently there was a TV show, um, Heartstoppers on Netflix, that actually showed young people who were gay. Now, some people argue it's a bit cute, and it is. And But, you know, it's important for that visibility for people to see people they identify in the mainstream media, on social media, so people feel less alone. That's why it's important that we are celebrating Pride Month, to make it visible that there are places in this world where people of every colour, creed, sexuality, gender identity belong and can come and be accepted for who they are and celebrated for who they are and just live their truth because it's really important, you know, that people are allowed to be who they are. So, 
Maybe you aren't yourself a member of the LGBTQ plus community, but you may want to be an ally. It's a term for someone who supports the LGBTQ plus community, but also stands up for their rights. So here are some top tips to be an ally. Number one, familiarize yourself with the language. So what does LGBTQ plus actually stand for? What are all the acronyms? Um, I did a talk about this last week, but that also extends into um, gender identity now. So someone could be trans, they could be transsexual or transgender, they could be non-binary, they could be gender fluid. You know, it's understanding what all these terms mean. Um, and just getting, educating yourself about that. And also number two is educating yourself about the history of LGBTQ plus community and the activism like the Stonewall Uprising and stuff. Just knowing where um, the kind of ally, the history of being an ally, you know, people have to stand up against things and fight for rights and stuff like that. Um, number three, you need to understand the challenges today. Now, I myself am not an expert on all the things happening in the LGBTQ plus community, but I know about the don't say gay um, issue in America at the minute. Um, and also there's been in Texas a ban on children going to drag shows um, and all these kind of things, you know, trans rights. There are thousands of trans people murdered each year. Um, so it's understanding what the issues are today. And then step four is to get involved in the community, especially locally, and show your support by literally being there. If there's a pride event near you, go to it. You know, it's not just for LGBTQ plus people, it's a showing of support and solidarity and acceptance and love and celebrating people of all different sizes and shape. And you are going, and gender identities, I don't, I'm used to talking about fitness, size and shape um, and ability, but yeah, it's a place for everyone to belong and you're going to have a great time. And then finally, stand up for what you believe in. If you are a true ally and maybe you're at work or you're in your friendship group and someone says something bigoted, homophobic, transphobic, you call them out on them and go, that's not okay, you know, we don't talk like that. That kind of attitude does not belong in the world. And, you know, have a frank and open conversation with these people, but challenge it. By staying quiet, you are supporting and condoning their actions. So... It's not always easy, and there may be times where maybe you feel you should have stood up, but we live, we learn, and we just do better each time. Just treat everyone with respect and kindness. Think about how you would feel if you were part of that community that people are mocking or saying derogatory things about, or just really narrow-minded, old-fashioned views. Um, don't be afraid to speak out against them. And this is a one that I've added in. And I guess because I'm kind of used to it, I don't see it as much, but when people talk to you or meet you for the first time and they ask about your life and who you're dating, the assumption is 99% of the time that you are heterosexual. So maybe when you meet someone new or even with your own children, don't assume their gender, their gender identity or their sexuality. They might still be questioning it, you know, don't always assume that they are heterosexual, like a boy is dating a girl or a girl is going to date a boy. We need to move past that. It's 2022. So if you can, just use this as food for thought today. And I hope it's helped. I hope it's um, helped you to feel a bit more curious about things, but also empowered. Because I think as long as you are polite and respectful and ask people how, you know, about themselves and how they refer to themselves and identify, you really can't go wrong, okay? So please continue to support Pride Month with Pride Week this week at Fitness with Matt, um, the 20th to the 26th of June 2022, um, and come to class and show your support for the community and show people that everyone belongs and it really doesn't matter who they are, they're welcome, and you support them and you celebrate who they are. So take care, have a brilliant, brilliant day, and I will see you all very soon. Goodbye. People are just people. We are yearning to be free. All the broken-hearted heroes will go down in history.